it full of. But if there is cement on my building and the price of cement has gone up, that investment has actually. That is wrong. So because the tomato sellers are increasing their fare, as a landlord, I will increase my. Is what did you add to your building? That building has been there for years. Because of the economic hardship, I have to reduce. Will your sleeping reduce? Will the security reduce? Thank you. Man. As a landlord, okay. you going to market. The best product is China. This one is original. I'm building house for me. <laughs> and you buy this fake no, one. No, no, my you don't bring test or contest. Okay, you will not do. You the landlord is the criminal here. You are not a tenant until you have signed a tenancy agreement. Yes. And in the tenants of that agreement, you are not liable to destroy my property. Oh, God, it's not your father's house. Yes. Yeah. 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 for damages. I came to meet you. So I did not damage anything. Give me my money. I start wasting my time. Yeah, go back yeah, when we get something. to court, I will pay you your twenty thousand. No. No. And by the time we had to turn at now, he or she would say I'm paying caution fee. We've damaged a property worth five hundred k. Your caution fee is just ten thousand naira. Tenants bear some responsibilities for property maintenance and care, or is it just the landlord's duty? Okay, when renting an apartment, uh, you are not just paying for just the apartment. You are also um, paying for properties that you met inside. So you should be responsible for what you met inside. In case it gets uh, spoiled or anything, you should be responsible for it, not the landlord, because you also paid for it as well. Yes. I'm also in support of that, because it although it depends, though, it depends on what the issue is, because there are some issues that I think the landlord needs to be at the cause. Things like... Let's say maybe the roof. I think something, more, but there are some minimal things that can just go wrong. And then, why are you living in the house for? The landlord is not the one living in the house for you, so you have to fix it yourself. I feel if you're staying in a place, you should be responsible for the things that you yourself you use in that house. Let's take for instance the the toilet seat is is, is faulty, or let's say the floor shelf is, is faulty. You wait for your landlord to come and help you. What about when when uh, when you have the area? You wait for your landlord to come. Hey, and but fix you know it. that kind of issue now, huh? Yeah. We can actually I can actually fix it at that moment while I wait for you to reimburse me. That's that's oh. that's not right. That's not right. At the point of inspection of the property, was that thing faulty? Okay, how what got what got what got it? If it got stuck, that means there's probably. Um, plumbing yes. issue. A plumbing plumbing issue. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I want to. I, I want us to get something because straight. I am talking about the flusher that you've been using, not not the one that you made there. Not plumber. Damages. Not 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 blockage. Something that you are using yourself and gospel. I want you to come and repair it as okay, a landlord like because in the kitchen, because why? Said, if you said in the toilet, now there's no way somebody will be so stupid to put something that's going to block that thing in the toilet. Yeah. If you. If you had said maybe the kitchen now, that's okay, yeah, we are washing food and particles, food particles. And did did and you just say there is no way someone... Okay, let me just say this. I said somebody will not be stupid enough to do such a okay, thing. Okay, let me just say this. There are times that ladies use sanitary pads to block the toilet. For yeah, those things, for sense. issues like that, they are self-damages. So um, when you have issues like self-damage, your damage tap, you should do it. It is your now, responsibility. I am from, uh, you said ladies use sanitary pad. I'm yes. speaking from the point of view of me being a man right now because... I won't put sanitary exactly. pads in there. Yeah, there's your so so you you yeah. Yeah. Can I be direct? Yes. Sure, my bro. Do you flush your condom or not? I think you do. I trash them. You trash them? Yeah. You trash them. So so you, you, you pick the used condom with all the jinx in it and you take it out with the trash. Just bro, I got to bring like a nylon in that place. I have my tissue paper. I pick it up. I put it in And you do nylon. that every time even with you. How often so do I have you do to... Huh? Wow. I think what... No, 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 no. It's cool. I don't do that often. Right. Yeah. <laughs> to me, I actually believe as humans, we need to hold on to some yes, responsibilities. Be E.g., no, let's I'm say your serious. WC got spot because your child maybe mistakenly broke it uh -huh. or something. Will your landlord fix that for you? Landlord, no, did you no, use I'm talking good about material to put it in that <laughs> place? Even if, <laughs> you even if the material is wrong, we are talking about a broken WC. You put it in broken WC. A broken WC. And okay now, or maybe you, as a landlord, you go into market, the day's product is China, 75,000. This one is original, one fifty thousand. You are building house for me, eh? And you buy this fake no, one. No, no, my, my, my story is you will see my problem. Me. Sorry, okay. You see my you, problem now. You, you come into the house, you get the house. Why you no know, bring test or contest? Okay, you this one is true. You are all contest. The truth is, the truth is, you came in, you find everything working fine. This is why some landlords are hell bent on collecting damages. Exactly, exactly. The truth is, no matter how good, on this damages stuff. 
if I did not um, damage any stuff from your house and I left, will you give me back my money? Yes, yes. They, 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 they don't, they don't fund do. it. I will, I will surely return caution fee because I don't want to have any discussion after that. When you don't pay caution fee, you're a thief. And I'm talking to fellow landlords here. Yeah. I've experienced this even while I was in tenant that people pay caution fee and they have, they have maintained your facility in a good manner. They are good tenants and in return for this, for this good deed, you don't pay a caution fee. I think we need to invite you for a discussion. Okay, okay, okay. If I'm going into an apartment and I pay for damages, does that mean you handle any of the damages in the house? Except self-damage or misusage or, or mishandling. Okay, if I'm paying for damages, why not spoil everything since I've paid for well, it? That, 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 that's a criminal case. It's not. <laughs> I've paid for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the landlord is a criminal case. here. I think so, I've paid for the damages. I let me damage. The Good. There was a story of a girl. After she stayed in the house, she, she scattered everything <laughs> in the house. This All this um, Airbnb, this uh, apartment, she reached, finished. The designated amount he said she should pay a certain amount again on top. I just get paid this money finish. She said, ah, she cannot just leave this house without <laughs> That's spreading a different different money. Money. My, my landlord does not give me my caution fee. I'll destroy his property. Because landlord, take yourself as an example. You went to take a loan and then you use your house as collateral. And then you have paid your loan. Uh, and the, the bank now wants to come and give you back your collateral. How will you feel? So it's the same thing. You, Caution fee, and I manage your property very well. Oh yeah, now give me back my caution fee. You're telling me stories. You're seizing my money. So me, I'll destroy my prop your property so that it'll be one one. If I were to be a landlord, what I would do is I'll refund that money and ensure that she repairs those damages. But at first, at, at at many times, people with damages that are worth more than what has been charged to them. Okay, but yes. You told me two hundred thousand for damages. Uh, I came to meet you, so I did not damage anything. Give me my money. And you start wasting my time. Don't you know it's my time you're wasting? I tell you, I later, later, no, five months. I will damage. Who that will go back and start When we get to court, I will pay you 200,000. Then you no, tell me why you did it. You tell me why you did it. You start collected from my hand. You use that ground. Fix your own properties. Let, let, let's okay. hypothetically, just, just like you said, there is delay. So now, I now return your 200,000 completely. So... What should I do to the damages you've caused? You are, not, you are not returning my money because you wanted to. You are returning it now because, because you said I've done damages. Because and I can't have options, options. yes. <clears throat> Time is precious. And I can refuse that. Yes. So in a case whereby there is a tenancy agreement, you are not a tenant until you have signed a tenancy agreement. Yes. And in the tenants of that agreement, you are not liable to destroy my property. Oh, God, it's not your father's house. Yes. And this is not your father's property. But yes. I gave so my if father's I have given you at will, tenancy at will, to use my property for a term or for a period Should of time, be great you have you. no right whatsoever to come to the place of the damaging the property. Why did you delay my father's So you house. must understand that tenancy is not outrightly giving you the ownership lease of that property. Exactly. You are staying there for a period of time. You're Rent cannot buy that property. And if you think you have paid a whole lot to make it work, that is not it. It's still my property and it's not yours. And I will tell such a tenant to go to his father's house. Because okay, why I've do landlords and sweat to get that agreed? Tenant. Fair point. Why do landlords refuse paying back the damages? I, Personally, I don't I'm a very careful person. I can't live in your property and just decide to damage it. Like I said, I would like to be comfortable wherever I stay. So I'll maintain your property. At the end of the day, I'm leaving this property and then. I didn't damage anything, Sorry, let and me, I asked let, for my damage. Let's just let me answer your, your, let's your just question. Okay. Okay. If you want to collect caution fee, and uh, I don't think caution fee should even come as a as an emergency. Is it that you gave the quick notice, or the, the the tenant would have informed you of their leaving your property for that period of time? So you should also be preparing to to return the money you have collected. You cannot eat your cake and have it at the same time. So this money in the first place was not rightfully yours, then it should be returned. And I believe that there should be a particular policy that should guide the collection and the refunding of caution fee as well. What I do is, or what landlord whatsoever would do in, in, in maybe they are, they are bad cases of tenants damaging the, the house they, they are um, occupied for a certain period of time. So that, uh, I feel, is, a, is like a preventive measure. Okay, you have something at stake. You have a skin in the game. If you are to damage anything, your money would sort it. And then I, I feel tenants, we are responsible and civil humans, and we should not because, okay, so my damage... So what if I don't okay. damage? Will you refund it? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Really that's really it, that's it. And, and I think you should clarify if should I, or if I don't damage any of your property, 
is yours. It should be. With my money, money, that's why you need to agree. We may but, even need to look at the damages beyond 20,000 or 15,000 naira. So there are damages that could run up to 2 million, 3 million yeah. at times. Okay, let me give, give us an example. Rundown. Let me give an example. A mechanic came to check a car and he mistakenly put the car on reverse and he ran into the building. Is it the landlord's fault? No way, I'm going somewhere. So there are times that even tenants can take up insurance policies for properties where they stay. Because you have what is called the under insurance, insurable interest. You've paid a, a certain amount of money to the, to the landlord, which make you also interested in that property. Then you can, you can insure such a property. It's called insurable interest because you're also interested in that property because you have a financial responsibility on that same building. So there are times that some, some damages go beyond what do naturally. I, there was a case we had of the other time we were at Songo. A, a woman wanted to open the gate, this wheel gate, and it fell on this, on the son and the, the mother. Yeah. Hmm. So such a case, will you call the landlord that the gate has fallen off? He is not staying there with you. You are using the loan. Okay, you leave your children in the hospital and not attend to them. No, the fact you don't stay there doesn't mean you should be non-challenged no, about no, your problem. No one has said non-challenged no. here. It he is, is if you be, ask the, the me. Falling you should have a, a, a caretaker or once in a while Most you likely, your property. the person that fixed because the Because you gate don't live there. People live you. there. Their oh. tenants doesn't mean they are not people. Me, I even believe mm. there is a big difference between damaging and mishandling. You might not damage the toilet flusher, but you might not flush well again. And I might need to repair it for the next tenant that is coming to occupy that particular house. So but I might not return time, your damages fee. But do you know with time properties like that, you need to replace Where and tear, Whether course. someone damages it or not. Yes. So let's assume people have lived in your building for years. And I come into the building. It's still exactly. working perfectly well. I stay there for a month or two and then it wears out. In that situation, am I at fault? You can't this even thing stay in the house yeah. because I will have done renovations in the house. Not As a landlord, does that. I would inspect my my own properties too. Do you too. renovate every time a person? It won't be renovated. every two two months, but at least as soon as a tenant is vacating, I need to check to ensure that all my properties are in the right. Uh, but sometimes we're not even sure, action. right? And you yes. won't know. You won't know the durability of some things. Yeah, Am well, I right? Well, well. I will check. I will check the effectiveness. Know. I would know if it's working well as it ought you to or not. You don't even use it, so, so how do you know if no, it's working? Is, is it reasonable for tenants to expect landlords to reduce rent during economic hardship? If you agree with this prompt, please step forward. I know they're not come out, Sasha. Let's look at it this way. You as a landlord, you are human. You know how things are. I feel there is this heart of sympathy one needs to like have i'm not saying you should reduce the rent by a lot of margin for me i just feel it's just all about maybe understanding and just having this human nature you know just relieve the body in a little bit okay let's not even talk about the human nature thing because i'm sure a lot of people will say i'm not your daddy i'm not your family member you don't expect me to True. feel sympathy towards you let's talk about the fact that a building is standing on its own you're not selling pepper or tomatoes where you need to go to the markets to get stuff every day. You need to pay transport. So if there's an increase in the prices of food stuff, there shouldn't be an increase in the prices of rent as well. Mm -hmm. So I could even cut down my rent, just like you said, because um, of the economy, what is happening in the country. But okay, even if I don't want to cut down my rent, I shouldn't increase my rent because, um, because of the flow of things in the country. There's nothing affecting my rent at the moment if we're being truthful and honest. But the thing is, we are the problem of ourselves in the country. So because the tomato sellers are increasing their fare and every other person transportation is increasing his fare, as a landlord, I will increase mine. Please, what did you add to your building? That building has been there for years. You've not added any new thing to it. So why the increase? That's the thing now, dollar go the rise, rent go the rise. How? Landlord go the tell you say, uh, dollar the rise. How dollar the take affects I feel like there's no right? logical way to explain and that. Uh, where I used to stay in Oka, you just see now, they tell you, okay, for that, um, that student area then, they tell you 200, um, 250 to pay 200,000. And then now you're paying the 250, so that by next year you enjoy your 200,000. And that next year, rich countries are landlord will just pick up from nowhere and say your rent is 350. Landlord, are you okay? Shall we? Last year we agreed that yeah. yeah. 250 to pay 20. You are telling me now that everywhere is that. 
Okay, me is not hard for me now. Uh, I have a plucky money. So sometimes, let us say, guys, you guys get sent, say, ah, well, the country you know they move in the right way, and then just have to be. Nigeria. Let's put it, you have to be patriotic, say, I'm not, yeah, this is your fellow Nigerian. Because if you pursue me there now, because I cannot pay, and I can't tip money, uncle. I don't have yeah. society. <laughs> Police carry me. You are, you are part of the problems of the society now. Even if you don't reduce it, at least just don't at least increase it. Don't increase yeah. it. Would the disagreeance please step forward? Gladly. First of all, I, I, the, the question says, is it is it um I think mandatory or reasonable. is it reasonable for the landlord to reduce the rent due to economic uh, hardship? Hardship. So I don't think they said anything about increasing. Maybe. So now you uh, this this is this is like you're telling me because the economy is hard, I have to reduce. The fact that I'm not increasing is is something commendable already. But you now want me to in- reduce reduce it. Now with what you're enjoying in the house, maybe the aesthetics and everything, will you reduce? No. Now you're not telling me now now that. Because of the economic hardship, I have to reduce. Will your sleeping reduce? Will the security reduce? You understand me? You want you want the same quality of what you're enjoying at a lower price because of the economy. Am I the government? Am I not the citizen too? So now I have voters card. And you voted for the wrong person as a landlord. So did you, you are part of you, did you, you part vote of the for the right person? But you are part of the problem. So okay, you are also to... part of the problem. So, uh, the problem. Uh, no, no, let's get something straight. Let's get something straight. The way there is um, terrible tenants, there's, there are also terrible landlords, unreasonable ones. Now, let's now come back to basic. Basic, just like the right thing and the wrong thing. I am not obliged to reduce any rent we've already agreed on. That you've been paying before, just because there is a change in anything in the economy, we are both in it, and whether you pay me or not, I will still be eating. Do you understand? And uh, some some landlords they even use that as some some are retired and they use that money to to send their kids to school. Now that same economy is affecting their kids because landlord no go carry one room. It is not possible for me to give one room to my child when the child is going to school and go and direct it somewhere. He or she will take will be a tenant to his school. Do you understand? So now, because I, because of the hardship, when I reduce rent for you as a tenant, who is going to reduce for my own child? The you same know, landlord. Wait, I support your sentiment. <laughs> in that um, someone said earlier, landlord, as human as you are. Sorry, your tenant, as alien as you are. <laughs> the economy never affected you, right? No, we, we tend to take things personal when we ought not to. If, like he said, we are not increasing the rent and we have maintained the status quo on our rent, which I did for about three years after COVID, I, my rent was the cheapest on my street. And people were wondering, yeah, what happened? I said, the, the people I have are young, new couples and they can't, I mean, they can't really afford to express a rent increase. And I left it that way. Even at the time I was bringing up a rent increase, they were thanking me. That you've, you've really tried for us. But I think the mistake we make here is that we are thinking of sympathy and not talking empathy. What we need to look out for is empathy. Understanding that, okay, we are both in this situation together. And for the tenant, what I do for them is I don't bug them for rent. I have a job, well paid, and that's not where I'm living from. And we don't understand that for some other landlords that are maybe much more elderly, their properties and their investment. And I'm happy that one of you said when you were introducing that you have streams of income. You don't want that stream to be blocked or to stop functioning. Okay. okay. Wait, 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 wait. What? wait. Because I'm, 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 I want to say something. For pensioners, that, that is the only source of income that they have. You said they should reduce. Why, 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 why selfish can you? How selfish can you be? Even landlords are going through something. Honestly. <laughs> okay. Whatever landlords are going through, tenants are going double of it. You are being selfish. You are being selfish. You are not the cause yeah. of the problem. The cause what of the problem do you believe have? that we, the citizens, are the ones spoiling the country? Are landlords not citizens? How do we make the country better? It has nothing I to do with the building. This about some months ago for three thousand five. Another month ago, it was five thousand. If I knew it, it was eight thousand. But it is just build your house. That is my investment. That's what you think. 
Did you just cement, build your they house? Say, if there's cement on my building and the price of cement has gone up, that investment has appreciated. That is wrong. Exactly. Uh, that is, I, exactly. That's for like that a new tenant. And that I, is I, wrong. Tenant you, can, you can't even for do a that. For a new tenant coming in, that can happen. It's not that you've paid a, a 300k rent now and I'm telling you that, okay, this is six months into your tenancy agreement. And I want no. To, no. At the end of your tenancy. That means every married man should go back to his wife's family to increase her bride price the moment she gives birth to one child. Per child. Mm -hmm. Yes. Child, if I get married to you, okay. after having one baby, you should go to my daddy and add more money. Mm -hmm. After oh, having another baby... Okay, because baby I am appreciating. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Just like yeah, your beauty. Yeah, yeah, daddy you or... She gave the baby. Right. No, right. I've paid her daddy off. No, you can go I back to her off. daddy and no, give him money. No, no. Which because it's a different thing if you have bought the property. Not salary. So exactly. It's not Whatever it is, I'm just giving a very typical payment. example. No, that's, that's the wrong you example. You cannot tell me because give. I have cement on my building. The moment the price of cement goes blah, 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 my building goes blah, That is why they are assets. I'm thinking through my... I'm thinking now, why should I reduce the rent? Why? Because at some point when it comes to renovation, the reduction will affect my reno renovation because the, the price of cement has gone up. How so many landlords do you know renovate? Are renovating? What do they Someone renovate? Is do you think landlords don't renovate? They don't renovate. Well, you what if the house? They, they, they don't renovate. How many what landlords if, renovate? They what? Are, maybe, probably they've renovated before you came into the house. That's not true. And you don't know about it. It's not that house. I mean, I just came into Because you went to the house. That house that I came into. After 20 years, they're going to renovate. The fact that your landlord is showing you shaking. The fact that rat is in your house does not make it to the landlord's fault. Is it? Wait, wait, So it's a fault of what your current landlord has done. Is it my fault that it's not in my house? You're, you're taking the house to your own house. house. In my, in my when place. I paid for my house, there was no I rat. I need a new tenant. I know no, there was rats. Now, would I pay for the house? Wait, there was rats. when you paid, there was no rat. I did not know. So, how sure are we that you, you did not bring <laughs> the rats? <laughs> 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 the only reason why it comes to You houses. know this corridor? I have a corridor, a passage. My own passage that has a door. Now, that place did not, doesn't have a ceiling. My old house has a ceiling. That place doesn't have a ceiling. When I came, I'm like, oh, why is this place like this? There's no problem. There's nothing wrong with it. But you were this fine with it. There's not a problem. I said, sir, you show me. I'm a very fair fair. And I'm living alone. If something should jump from, he said, nothing. I assure you. I paid rent and I moved. Okay, okay. <laughs> so that, in that corridor, my bathroom is there. Eh? Three days ago, a rat jumped on my head. In the bathroom. I almost and died. I need to reduce rent. Exactly. Wait. Wait. It's, See, your it's, your it's your fault. It's your fault. I almost fault. died in that bathroom. Actually, you should have insisted on him fixing it before but you got him. It was fine. He said, no one can have that. But you still agreed. The best thing is oh, well, to are not truthful. Oh. Okay, wait. Some There's just the, um, the roof. Not that the roof is open, but the passage where there's supposed to be a ceiling, there's no ceiling. So it's just directly the zinc. Well, before moving into the apartment, I asked if it was an issue, if anything would come dropping from there. And my landlord said, no, nothing. So I was just in the bathroom and a rat, a very big rat fell off. And then even when I come back now, sometimes when I come back, I see the rats too in the bathroom. And then I'll have to flush their own before using their bathroom. So it's really... An issue for so people. Just I, like am talking about, I am talking about responsibility, accountability. When you should be accountable for your choice. Thank you. If you see a house that 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 is like this, and you still went ahead, okay, okay. hold on, hold is on. Is it my fault? And you was still wait, 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 wait. And you still it's went on ahead, it's ahead. On you. Well, he was convincing. Hold on, it's an old man. Should I hold on. Him, okay, okay. Lying. You use you use an example of, of a bright price the other time. Now let me use the same. Uh, um, example for you. You see a guy now. You can see the red flags. Don't be saying a carnival. You can see that this one is temperamental. This one is this one. This one has tendency to eat me one time. So and you still went ahead to see I do. Now when that thing happens, or or when one day you just said this okay. and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now do you want to blame the parents? You. Or the man that, or Some your red dad. Flags are not visible. No, okay. I'm talking of the one that has not been The ones that temperamental guy. Up. He will abuse you verbally. Yes, no. The For someone that is temperamental, he will abuse you verbally. I'm you talking about know. the ones that you can see. Okay, now no. you want to you, you you want to tell me you don't know that this person you went to the restaurant together and you saw the way he reacted to the waiter just because the waiter. Okay, so I'm glad you brought this up. I think I dated a guy a while back, and. When I was about to, his ex told me that he beats her. I shouldn't date him, blah, blah, blah. I decided 
He didn't beat me. He didn't but it's your ex me. now. Yes, for other reasons. Reason. Maybe you did not push for him to that reason. point. No, I can be very annoying. You should know that. Obvious. And maybe yeah. he loves you. You did and not I bring out the beast in him. Okay, what you didn't bring out the beast in him. I can be annoying, but it's in a cute way. Because mm-hmm. I love arguing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Whatever it is, I feel like I pushed him. You know, remember I went into the relationship because I wanted to push him. To really know if Mercy was yes, like you want to know the house too. That's then, why. And now you've known the house. Yes. Okay. And, and now you're saying the house. And now you're saying the house. And I can never, rat. never renew my rent. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot stay in a compound where my landlord is present. If you agree with this point, please step forward. Why? Why would I be staying in the same house with my landlord so that we count the number of girls and bring it to the house? <laughs> this boy, I shall know they go work, know they come out. I think they pay my rent. I work remotely. So you want that she, you want make her go, make you see me when I go work. And I'm like, eh, this boy is a Yahoo boy. I said it. This one is a Yahoo boy, the froster. Uh, that why he does not used to go to work. So I don't even want my landlord to stay with me. Please stay wherever you want to stay. If you want to stay in your own house, you can stay in your own house. If you want to go and rent house, rent house, but <laughs> don't come and stay with me. So you're not be monitoring my life. I think yeah. it's how landlords behave like they are mini gods. Yeah. That's why That's tenants true. don't like um the relationship between them and their landlords. <laughs> Except from the let me say the young landlords lately. Like, like when we meet the older ones, like, you know, that are well elderly. They have this mentality about we youths and they have to like change that because nowadays the life life is evolving actually and there's a lot you can do while even at your comfortability, while at home. So most times some landlords don't think that, okay, you that you are home, you are productive. I faced a lot of scenarios. I wanted to get an apartment last year before I postponed. Sometimes when I go up to a landlord and they be like, okay, what do you do? And I explain myself, okay, and this and that. But most times I do mostly deliveries and sometimes for events. I don't get, maybe sometimes I might not be getting that job to like go out at every time. And you, most times you see me at home and if I'm home, I'm doing one thing or the other that also brings me money. But then you have scenarios of landlord just keep bugging you are bugging you. Not even until at some point in time, my landlord's son had to come steal my money in our house. So, stuff like that is not nice, man. Would the disagreeers move forward, please? As a landlord, I need to supervise my, my asset, myself, because if I don't totally supervise, they will, they will make a mess of it. And I've seen cases short recently. Okay, one of my tenants, uh, I think he had a function to do so. I was opportune to step into the apartment he collected. So it was well painted before he got inside with his wife and um, like three kids. On getting there, the, the window, the window net shot, torn already. The painting, the wall, shot, scattered. And I, oh my goodness, God. So now he's not paying damages few. Now I have to renovate that for another tenant that's coming in. So on, on that, on that note, I, I need to supervise my thing because I, it's the best thing to do, and um, I need to I need to know what you're doing, cause like someone rightly said, if I if I hire or if I get a wrong tenant in my apartment, when they get happen, when issues happen, and, and law enforcement come into my apartment, cause I own it, I will join I will join in the in the prosecution. So I don't want to be. So I want to scrutinize every of my room. Can you define wrong? Wrong tenant? What do you mean by wrong? Okay, let like me, let me come in there. Before you take any tenant, you, you need some level of um, to due diligence. Know their occupation, know exactly. their source of income. This rent you want to be giving, is it from ritual or from kidnapping business? <laughs> what, what kind of job do you do? Because your house may eventually become a hideout. So on tenancy form, you fit some of these things. Because when issues like that happen, you let them know this is the job this person said he's doing. This is what he said. Duly signed by this person, dated. So in the issue of law or legal or criminal issue, you can bring out this form to say this is the claim this person made when he came in. Whether correct or not, this is what he said. Okay. I get it now. Fair in fact, point. people might even go to the point of having your passport photographed on the house. Let me give an example. I had a tenant sometimes ago who just locked up the room and seven months was not around. Not reachable and they liked. And somebody said, ah, I think this guy works in the mortuary. This guy, I said, hey, how do we know? <laughs> no, it was, this is not a recent issue now. I get now. So, but that, he eventually came back later. I told him, I don't want issues. You have to vacate this property 
I don't want to know what is happening with you. Just leave. He got his quick notice and at the expiry of that time, he had to leave. So the reason why landlords will want to see or stay on their property is because of the Yoruba adage that says it is ice that we used to collect meat in a plate. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to say so that. So because I'm a tenant, so you, I'm, I, I can't have privacy. Mm-hmm. That's so you're making privacy. a mistake. Yeah, and yes, I think yeah, we, yeah, need to, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. we need to look at... No, because you are um, trying to be a monitoring, monitoring spirit yeah, to your no, tenant. No, not monitoring. Monitoring then, the property. That's <laughs> one. I mean, that property I'm sorry. for the period of the year I I'm paid, I'm sorry, right? madam. I think what happened in this case was well said by him when he mentioned the fact that there is there's a generational gap now and trends are changing. I get now. We have younger landlords now who would not really monitor your life. Yeah, you're thinking our perspective. I get now. You know, the the elderly ones also have um. You know, there's an idea that says that a a new broom may sweep the house properly, but the old broom knows the dirty corner. So you should also sit to appreciate the wealth of wisdom the elderly tenants may bring into play. Let me give an example. While I was still back home before marriage with my mom, we had a tenant who came earlier, introduced his fiancée to my mom, and um, I just see that this woman will not sleep at home. We will stay at the window to know which lady this guy is bringing in. And she just come by the window. Hey, who is this one that you are bringing in tonight? Mm. And my mother would just come and say, okay, I know his fiancée, you are not... Mm-hmm. And she protected that lady till they got married. She did not allow any. But maybe she shouldn't have because mm. that lady would have known the kind of man Simple. she was getting involved with. Mm-hmm. Honestly, sometimes you don't it's, need to pry into people's private yeah. lives because yeah. it's better That's than why we don't want okay. Landlords. Very good, please. I don't like to bring out this in public, but let me say it. I <clears throat> recently broke up with my boyfriend, and he has been coming to my house. My landlord knows him. They play. Now my landlord keeps asking, "He's my friend." Now I'm crying heartbreak inside my room. I cannot face my landlord. The moment I go out, how is my friend? He's not he cannot speak. Boyfriend now. He calls him his friend. Because they are friends. Okay, so it, it so makes how do I remember, tell him? It, it, do I now have to him. open my case to my landlord? Mm. Okay, we've broken up. And then he, he calls him my husband. He must have been. So anytime my boyfriend comes to the house, I, 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 I don't want the landlord in the house. I'm not married kind of to him. And good. even when we're in a relationship, yes, I'm not. Not that I was trying to deny him, but he's a boyfriend. He should be a boyfriend. You don't have to keep calling my boyfriend my husband. Yeah. The moment he steps in, my landlord will, no, did, will be calling did, did him my husband. Your tenant can, can do that. that. Can do what your landlord is doing. Uh, uh, there's, a, there's an issue now. He knows he's my boyfriend, but he calls him my your husband. Okay, now dilemma. we've broken up. My landlord still <laughs> asks me, how is your husband? The fact that my tenant doesn't mean my landlord should know everything about me. I would also want to have my privacy. I'm a very private person. And when I'm in my room, want to be in my room. I don't want anybody knocking on my door or the moment I open my door, you are waiting to ask, why didn't you go out today? Why didn't you go to work? What's happening to you? And all of that. There are days I just want to be all by myself. Sometimes I'm a people person. Sometimes I am not. And I really love to maintain my privacy. Please, what a am I supposed can to do say? just what your I landlord is doing. I have to now go and tell my landlord. <laughs> so you're paying because your landlord is, is saying it See, now. You know, it's it's and then, then you can snub Tina because nothing concerns you. Yes, but now I have to go and meet me. He's an elderly if you man. Come and meet me as my, I have as to go my and landlord now. I cannot change it for you. I cannot change it for you. I must greet you in the morning. Good mother. No, no. As a landlord, I cannot greet you. Landlords don't want to stay with tenants. Yes. As landlord, we need to know who I'm taking into my house. You know, there was something that happened in my neighborhood growing up that time so the landlady was always around she just comes in with people and she would just introduce them to people around that oh i have new tenants in this my um, apartment so it was like that but there was a time people around the neighborhood just started gathering people were murmuring what's happening they said the guy occupying the apartment is a thief he's one going to houses in the neighborhood and stealing people were coming to come and vandalize the apartment the um the apartment and that is that that would be the responsibility of the landlord to repair those damages. But because she was not always around, she could not even see anything. Because she was not like, ah, and thief, she does not know. A thief will always be a thief. You don't need your presence to be there. But at least if I'm there, I'll be able to know this guy is always going out. 11 p.m. I'm coming back 12 p.m. Where is he going? Which one? I need to be sure who you have. Is thief in? I mean stealing. You come and pay your rent. You let him do his job. Ah no, 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 I can't take it to my house. I need to ask for the occupation of my tenants because I need to know, if, one, if the person will be able to pay my subsequent um, rent. And also, we've had cases um, whereby a tenant is um, a criminal. And at the end of the day, they, um, the landlord ended up being robbed 
with the tenant. So I need to know what you're doing. I need to be sure that my property is safe with you. Imagine, imagine, um, having a tenant that is, is a very, very violent person. That means I'm going to be having to repair so many things in the house, which is not supposed to be. And by the time we had the tenant now, he or she would say, I'm paying caution fee. You've damaged a property worth 500k. Your caution fee is just 10,000 era. How do you want me to, to be able to, Shuffling that with your rent. So I would really, really want to know what you're doing. So I'll be able to re I'll be sure that my own properties are safe with you. And when <laughs> when the law finds out that, that you know and you did nothing about it, then you then you be like, like, you don't know, you don't know your business. There's no how you would say it as a landlord in the court of law that you don't know this is what your tenant okay, is. Because they expect you to know. So, Alright. If if I tell my landlord I'm a cobbler, filmmaker, there's a way he will look at me. Right? If I tell my landlord I I walk in a very big place. There's another way he will look at me. There are two different things, right? I might be walking in a very big place, but I don't have money. See, especially Do you believe it? Just okay. That tribe, now, when I moved thing, in, my landlord asked comes me. In. Nigerian Port Authority, the moment I mentioned it, I saw his look. So now, I moved in on the 30th of January. I didn't, I didn't use the lights for that month. But my landlord made me pay light bill for, that, for January. And okay. are you of your port authority? Yes. Yes. Do you know why and he you said that? Do you know what he told me? He said, normally if people move in, they don't even pay for the first month. He's giving them grace. Me, I don't even do that first month too. He said, but ah, the bill is too much this month. And the pressure, you have to help us. Not the occupation. Yeah, because you know, like you said, because, yeah. do you understand? No, it's not because so, of the so, occupation. So, because you said it was persuasive. You took the house with O's mm, too. Out yeah. of persuasion. No, if that man doesn't know where I work, you won't ask me to pay. Yeah, but the reason why you wouldn't as you landlord, let me tell you, the reason why as landlord what? we need to I might know... I am working there, but that doesn't mean I have money. Do you know it does? You know if I'm a cleaner? No, no, no. That the reason why we need to know where you work and your role or designation in the office is because of the renewal of rent. Hmm. Sometimes been, listen, I feel like it's before, too much. Before in... I moved down to my, my, my permanent site, I rented an apartment in, uh, in an estate. So while I was going around the estate, the, the man asked me, what job do you do? I said, currently I work as a personal assistant. Then... He said, this property is not the kind you may be able to pay for. Do you understand? You may, God, at times, people could save up 500k for two years to go and take a 500k apartment. Mm -hmm. does not mean that in the next one year, you have that 500k to renew that rent. Yeah. So, no, at, so many yeah. landlords would want to know what you do. They may, they, there's Wait. space secrecy. They yes. may not be able to ask you how much you earn per se, but they want you just to have an idea that can well, even I feel like even if you know, you shouldn't change your attitude towards your tenant or how you treat them. You so, a house enough. with holes. I yes. said my grandpa yes, right? Can, he didn't ask me what sheets. I was exactly. doing there. Until one day I was going for CDS. I'm a copper. Okay. Uh, sorry. So he charged the copper okay. for that. Well, sorry. Uh, since we've started this this whole show, you guys have been talking about landlords as if they are pro humans or they have they have a place when they are collecting their national ID, landlord, or maybe when they want to board a bus. I'm a landlord. That's how they do it. Do you know what it means hold, to be hold, a landlord? Don't, do you know don't. the body it takes hold, off? You you see? Life, in life, first, it's zero, wait, zero. Wait. Become landlord is one zero. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> just know it. So you should know that one zero. You're I'm just trying to tell you why tenants are not comfortable, <laughs> not comfortable <laughs> living with their landlord. Now let's now come down to... Because they try to monitor your life. They see even your income, if possible, they won't make you tell them they will collect salary. Oh, no. So because I'm paying rent in your house, doesn't mean you should ask me all of those questions like, why didn't I go out? Why am I inside? And all of those things. I don't appreciate it. At the end of the day, I would have to be explaining myself to you when I don't want to. Don't, don't make it a general something. Like, for example, now, there are some landlords that they, they, they even demarcate the, the house. Okay. This is their own. They will, like mine, the back is where the tenant, whatever they do, doesn't yeah, concern them. My home, they are on their own. own. But now, let me now tell you uh, an example. One, one, one day like that, they, 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 they had a party. And around 2.30 p.m., we were hearing screams. Now, do you want to tell me now that I don't have to intervene when I'm hearing a lady screaming? Ah, so now, let me now tell you this. You, you, you don't want let me to intervene. The neighbor can actually no, do wait, that too. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not saying neighbor, you're, not, you're, not, you're not right to do that, but I'm saying you're, you're not there. The uh, neighbor can actually so what if you're the one having the party? Who wants to intervene? What you just said? I heard you saying something about uh, the landlord's child coming to steal. 
your neighbor's child can also steal from you. Yeah, but it will not pay me. I'll know that it's my neighbor. I'm paying you and you're stealing from me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, it looks quite different when it's my tenant actually doing that because fellow tenant, I know what I could do. But it's not like I'm paying you the landlord rent and your son is coming to collect the rent again. In fact, that's double. You're stealing me? That's not right. Doesn't make doesn't make that stealing way. Doesn't make that stealing right. Does it? I get but you. because it's coming from, from, from the landlord. Are hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me let me let me just clear this. Because, rent, because it's coming money. from the landlord. You are more pissed because you are paying someone for the rent that you are leaving. And your child is stealing. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think you're more pissed because this this is a, a case of you are seeing the landlord as a senior citizen, and yes. we are all humans. No. Some African governments want rents paid monthly, just like in the West. If you agree with this prompt, please step forward. So I actually support this because personally, earners do. You know, there are some burdens that you get. It gets to a situation where you have to pay uh, your, uh, your rent a month to and you have a problem. And you have to use your rent to sort out that problem. And you'll be looking at you have to pay 450k within the next month. So if you are paying it monthly, you will not have this, uh, you will not have this high BP that you have to pay uh, high money the next month or something. As a monthly earner. Like a salary based person is good if you once you collect your salary, just go and give landlord. As you said, if you, if you see the money very large, you just be like, ah, oh, more this money open. I cannot just carry this money and just go and give this landlord like that. Well, if you are staying in a place of 400, 500,000, be like, ah, this money like that. Let me, and you'll be thinking maybe towards the end of the year, okay, one big bag will drop. So you clear and the big bag does not come and you're a landlord, you're running up and the landlord is coming to your house, you're running. But once you know that, okay, this money does come this month, ah, fast, fast, faster, you make it as a priority, you give landlord and you have your own peace of mind. Once I think I like the monthly thing because if the, if I get my, my monthly rent paid by my tenant, I think it's easier for me to just tell the tenant if it's not, we are not, the synergy between us is on parallel. I can just let him lose in the next month. Okay, you know, just keep your next month. And, and it's, it's safer for a landlord to wait him for the next, uh, he has paid one full year. Now there's a commitment due to tenancy, um, agreement or so. So it's, it's, it's the, the law and everything that uh, makes it difficult. And then thereafter, if, if the tenants are unable to pay their rent, you have to give them a grace of three, four months. That's stressful. I think the monthly uh, he saves me a lot of stress. So, would the disagree? Ask, please step forward. You can imagine a situation where that salary of yours will not just meet your monthly needs again. I can't be the one to suffer your loss. So, I do not in any way support monthly payment of rent. However, it's of advantage to a landlord when I'm about to give you a notice to quit because I have just a month to give you. Except for uh, on like tenants will pay for six uh, for a year on a yearly term, their quit notice is six months. Not eight months, six months. For those that pay maybe by annual, is it by annual or twice a year or quarterly, they have three months quit notice. I don't support it all because income cannot always be consistent. What about in a case of downsizing the organization where you, you lose your job unplanned? Who pays that rent for the month? You can also lose your it's, job. It's like, oh, 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 if, let's say, since you are paying yearly, you can lose your month, your job, February. How do you cope with and all that? A box payment can be gotten maybe via loan. What do, what do I do about a copper who has service here mm -hmm. and is moving back from just to Lagos or Lagos to just? I look for another copper. I look for another copper. I agree that um, rent should be paid monthly. And even if you are, you, you get fired. I mean, if you are paying it yearly, you can also get fired. So the probability is still 1-1. One, one. Paying it monthly just saves you uh, stress. I mean, and it also saves you the uh, pressure of having to pay some huge amount of money later in the future. Let me even talk from an entrepreneur um, perspective. At least, I'm a landlord. I'm also a tenant at my store. There are months that sales won't be that great. I need to pay my staffs. I need to pay all that revenues and things I need to do in the month. And by, at the end of the day, I might not even be able to make, to get my full one month salary out of the remaining monies I have. So I'd rather prefer to at least remove it. And the amount that I would, I would make like 500% of my house rent. 
months like I can decide to keep a particular percentage for my rent. But paying every month as an entrepreneur might not work because there are times that sales might not be great. Like for entrepreneurs, um, there are times where biz businesses will be very good for you. Like, um, let me say, for example, you make up artists. Back, back in just was, um, let's say October, November, December, that's my time making a lot of money. People in fact, I can't even tell I'm fully booked, I can't work. But when it's January, February, <laughs> March, maybe from April, business will start to pick up. But from mostly beginning of the year, I hardly have anything to do. I don't have much to do. So if I'm paying rent every month, how do I pay in January, February, and all of those other months? So I think, I should pay in bulk and just take my mind off it. You understand? So there are businesses that move in season. So paying, and there are times that, let's say December, Easter period, even all this Ramadan period, businesses move faster. So if I should decide to say, I'm paying monthly, that means I'm going to be holding my landlady. So we, many of friends. cannot, oh, that's why, that's why we, we come, the landlord, what is the nature of your job? Not to pry into your life, but we want to know so that we know that, okay, you are, there's a guarantee that my monthly payment will come in. It's beautiful when you, your, your tenant messes up and, um, you have just one month, um, how would I put it? Is, uh, yes, to give on compared to the three, four months is stressful. I can't, I, who is to pay for, who is to cover for free bees or you have done a okay, pro bono I, for, I, I, I'll collect my rent monthly. Okay, cause, Tenants are, are always very difficult. I want to save myself the headache and um, getting to settle dispute and um, unnecessary. So once I, I pick up a, a red flag from my tenant, I, I think I once he pays the rent for that month, next month I can, okay, just stay one month and then sort your yourself elsewhere. And then that's that's my my, my, my plan. EG, I have people around my my store presently that um, they're taking shop rents for 650K in a year and they're just baking cakes. How much are bakers making a salary with the cost of sugar and everything mm. presently? People are really price that cake down. So that's why, that's why you need to yeah. have a strong yeah. base capital yeah. to cover and um, you, you need to size and the payment of your, the, the per unit payment of whatever product you are offering, eh, you factor it, you factor your rent in so that at whether your, you, the, the product does well, for that month or it doesn't there is a, a way you find a way to make sure that your rent doesn't suffer because hmm. if it suffers that means you'll be such okay, a person let me, let me just we'll be doing that. whatever we'll you be do, offering Shab. service on the street maybe you just get a kiosk and start our service no. providers there are times that you can't predict if you're going to make sales or not, not yeah. exactly. there are times you're you not cannot wrong. predict it it's not you it's yeah, if, your product product is, is, if your product is good enough it should no. be no. even no. if it's good it's not about that there will be a time that three people back to back who cancel makeup there's nothing you can tell them I feel you've planned already. You've probably even rejected other offers there should because be a of them. Plan now. Don't. I, I'm against. Well, there's I'm nothing against you can do because because on the tenant side, there's even more disadvantage. Even on the landlord side, there's 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 also disadvantages. First, a landlord that is that is giving the house for for maybe ten thousand per month. So you be collecting ten thousand per month, like like that, like I that. Like it is better to collect it in bulk and use it to do something. Tangible. Why is the rent increases or rent increases? Yes, yes. So do you understand? So now <laughs> let me now tell you if you get it per month, hold on, if you get it per month and, and things things maybe maybe something happens and, and I have to renovate that next month. I will collect it from the so called tenant. Now now hold on. When you now talk about the tenant, this the reason why you see that maybe in those uh, European countries where you have series of homeless people is because when things happen, it quickly affects their brain. And it quickly it affects how they live. Health. It messes up your entire. You see them on the street. The it next is week. So now, I have now to pay so now, now tell me now that you 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 want a month whereby you don't you are not even sure if your next income is going to be complete. Mm. What if they are company downsize and you start running at that schedule for to delay in salary? And all I agree with the fact that landlords shouldn't get their rent monthly because. It gives room for, for the tenant, uh, if anything happens. So they have time to pay. Not, not that when something happens, you start, uh, uh, 
listening to excuses like, okay, something like this happened. I need more time. I need more time. But if you have a year, I think that is enough time for you to uh, curb any barren, any barren or unforeseen circumstances you should have been saving or have a plan to pay your rent in 365 days compared to 30 days. Okay. Yeah. Or do you guys understand that I, I, I really, is 30 I really days? I don't agree. Ma month is 30 days. You don't do you understand? Me. Compared to you have lengthy period of time, you can you can be fired and get another, get another job. job. Yeah. You understand? Okay, now you're not telling me that 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 month, let's say for instance, you paid for this month and work takes you to a place, maybe from Lagos to Abuja. Now, will you pay, will you, will you take your things along with you or you will pay the rent in Lagos the next month okay. and also pay in the Abuja. one in Abuja that you are staying? Are you throwing the question at yeah, me? Yeah, I'm yeah, throwing it directly worry, at you. My sentiment, I would, I would clear with you. Okay, if that be the case, if you are moving, and you need to, well, you must have, you will vet, when am I staying? This And this movement I'm about to make, Am I staying for a short period of time? Or I'm, I'm taking a long stay in Abuja that I'm going. If you have, if you have clarified that, then you, you, you strategize. If you're staying on a short time base in Abuja, why not? You can continue, continue. I think you're going way. by the books. You're working as if your life is already planned. No, no, I, I, that's what I'm That's how to you're sounding, no, honestly. No, 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 like no, no, your no. life is already Hold planned. On, you like, don't know that different things can happen along the way. Hmm. If you pay, Okay, like I was paid for February People on try, the 16th they, they do their best to stay month. alive now. What One if I the... pay a monthly rent and my landlord is not okay to wait for me till 16th? I was finding it difficult too to pay transport and all of that because I was waiting okay, for Okay, by virtue salary. of the policy that so is you... stipulated by the, um, the government now, let's say, okay, it's a stamp now that you must pay a landlord to collect rent monthly. What will you do? Will you say because then it's not Then government have to do you... better. Maybe with exactly. salaries and other things. Yes. Government, even private sectors have to do better. And then you petition you the government. You don't, you don't, I'm, I'm, and I'm then just you don't a law-abiding landlord. landlord. Law yes, I'm a law-abiding landlord. The law. And then the best thing is, as as individual, you try your best to stay or try your best not to get fired. But if we have a good Because you know there's a lot of... Sorry, sorry, sorry. I really worry really that your life moves, moves by the books like you planned. No, 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 no. The Abuja you, you are going me. to. What, what, what prompted the Abuja move? Sometimes you don't get... Move. <laughs> a work move. I'm saying... Okay, let, let, let's take for you instance. You are going to Abuja now. Let's take for instance. Are you let going? me paint a perfect picture for you so that you can understand. Right. Let's say for instance, we are all working in the same place. I, I was supposed to go with a team for a project. And um, something happened, maybe family issues, or maybe even I got sick. And we were called a day to, like, okay, um, for the company, can you fill in for this other person? And you know that you're capable, and you know that even, let's say it's another. Mm -hmm. Will you say, oh, no, um, because I my no other, plan, yeah. I have not planned it, though. I'm not going. Oh, God, you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are painting look, Nollywood. I'm not painting Nollywood. Yeah. Why no, speaking of Nollywood, Nollywood? Yes, now that it happens. Monthly with, payment. Uh, look at your DSTV. Are you not happy? Pay, pay as you go. Happy as you go. Look yeah. at your DSTV. You are not are you watching not... the TV. Uh -huh. now. Your bill is running. Your bill is running. That's what I'm saying. It's it's it's, it's no problem. Mm. People people pay irrespective. People pay. And that's what I'm asking you. That if 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 you're to move from Lagos, like this month. This month is already uh, when 20, today's 23rd or 24th or so. Okay, now, today's 24th. You have to pay 30th, which is the end of the month. So now, you're leaving. You're leaving, maybe, let's say, to Abuja tomorrow. Now, we after you paid for this month, are you going to pay for the the, the, the coming month that you will not even stay there? Maybe, let's say, what you're going for is three weeks. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, 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 no, sorry. It's I, good I, to be, I, I beg to differ because... You are not staying there, but are you moving to Abuja with your chairs, your TV? That's you what I'm asking. That that's what I'm asking. That's what I'm asking. Will it pay? Will, 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 how will you feel if you are to pay for for that place that you're not staying and you will pay again? Okay, I think why. you don't understand tenancy. Tenancy is not only you staying. Your, your belongings are there. Okay. So you've rented that place for that month, not just for you. To safeguard your belongings. Your belongings are there. The reason why I directed the question to him directly because is is when he said, if you're not staying, he said, well, if you're not staying, you can easily just say go. Yes, that was what he said. He said it's a service well, apartment. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. That was what he said. He said, that's what I'm asking him. That, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, that's what I'm asking him. That was what I asked him. He said, if you are not capable enough to pay for that month, 
Well, you have a one month. Well, well, what you say is that to know better if they are to implement such a law, that means every house should have should have every equipment a person need to put Well, your, to your guess is as good as mine. Are they so far the, the, so the you policies don't they have been implemented? How good has it been? They you think that is why they cannot going, implement that as, kind of as, as of now, we are not trying to scrutinize how good the government policies are. I'm not so doing that. Not also. I'm, I'm not yeah. doing that. Also. Yeah. So the major point is, I think what we are discussing is relative. Very, very. Yes. If you can see his cap, he's more of an hood landlord. I can't really deal with the one month thing because you, know, you can wait, have wait, a wait, troublesome wait, landlord that, that will just not, wake I'm up one trouble. morning For and some tell you landlords, leave my house because you are paying for some landlords. Some landlords into such it is that rent is salary for them. Beautiful. Why for some other landlord they want that bulk payment so that they can carry on some other mega projects? Which is so some some people. collect the rent as a means of survival. Oh. Monthly income, salary accounts. I get you. Some don't even want to collect it. But now, if what if your house cut down? Who does that come from? Who for that your house? Uh -huh. What if Lagos Lagos government says your house is not on the road? I should be able to make sure that this thing <coughs> is 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 paying me. I get I get a a, a token from. I what get a substantial amount from this asset of mine. I should make sure that at every point of mine, that thing is safe and secure. I know. Things yeah, happen. I, I Things say, don't go as me, planned. Sir, I believe a petty landlord oh, now will subscribe to such payment plan. Yes, yeah. that's very petty, honestly. See, let me tell you no, something. This is the angle I'm coming from. I'm coming from the angle of the, a disturbing my, tenant. See, a disturbing tenant. Let me, let me give you an example. Yeah. I grew up with a single family where rent was important to my mom because she needed to, need to pay school fees at a particular mm -hmm. time of the mm -hmm. year. And she has structured it in such a way that she took tenants for that kind of period. Mm -hmm. Pay me this bulk of money so that I can pay my children's school fees. Mm -hmm. But if you have been collecting, maybe the rent was one hundred twenty k as a rent, mm -hmm. and you are collecting thirty thousand naira. I mean, as a landlord, you can choose. It's just a decision between exactly. The landlord. That's, that's why I said it's they, they have to agree. Yeah, that's it. They have to agree. If you're right. an entrepreneur, you know that this is how you earn yes, your money. Yes. The, uh, and I, then, I, as a salary earner. You be able to know, okay, I, I can pay for 5,000. I think there's the same thing. I don't see why your landlord needs to know what you do. I would just say that um, what is needed now is for us to come to a compromise. Yes. What is good for me may not be good for you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We are both options. landlords and our options differ. It could be because of age gap or generational issues or even... Village. Not even that. Because of troublesome tenants. Yeah, so yeah, so I, that I can... Even some, land, some tenants also want to pay monthly because of troublesome landlords. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. tenants yeah. also want to pay yearly so that they don't need to have to see their landlord Every, now and then. Yeah. So this is relative and I think it the way it happens in the north may be different from how it happens in the south. So... It is a matter of what works for you and I. If I bring this to you and it works for you as a tenant, we are good to go. Mm -hmm.